I've always been a backpack person. I have one big one and the smaller one. However, I always wanted a smaller bag for traveling, smaller setup, or when I'm just hanging out with my friends. Now, I did not want to compromise the storage capacity to fit the cameras and bunch of accessories. After a couple of months of research, I've bought the Peak Design Everyday Sling 6 liters. Not only this bag is high quality and tough, it does have waterproof zippers both on the front and the top compartment. The front compartment is not that spacious, let's be honest here, but it's really good for phones and my wallet. The main compartment is is super spacious. On the back side of the main compartment, there's a sleeve that you can fit a tablet up to 11 inch. So I can fit my iPad Pro 11 inch in it, which is super cool. However, since this sleeve is very sturdy and slim, I couldn't fit a magic keyboard with it. But still, I can fit my iPad with a case, so I'm super happy with it. In addition, in this bag, you can fit two lenses and a camera body with ease, and you can also compartmentalize however you want with this origami style pack pad that's in the back. There's a small handle at the top so it's super easy to carry around and I absolutely love the strap. It's padded and it's super easy to adjust the strap length. And lastly, this link is very comfortable to carry around even when I pack this thing to a max capacity. It feels totally fine. To admit i don't carry this every single day but i do carry a cement 3 for almost every time i go out in a casual situation this five years old full frame camera is a great hybrid shooter both photos and videos i keep my setting very compact by using one of my favorite lens for photo which is the samian 24 mm f 2.8 this only cost me around 168 dollars with autofocus and the image that comes out of it it's not bad at all the autofocus for video is not that good but i had no no problem in terms of photos. When I'm not carrying a7 III around, I do carry two filters and a adapter from my iPhone every day. Since recent iPhones and bunch of smartphones has very good camera, I bought the Moment 67mm snap-on filter adapter and the case that goes with it from my iPhone. So I can add a Moment Cineboom filter, I use the 5% and a variable ND filter. If you already have a phone, this setup is quite affordable and quick and easy to do. And with the combination of any type of video app that will allow your phone to shoot log, such as Moment app and Filmic Pro, the footage looks absolutely amazing and I highly recommend to anyone. Also, when I'm not carrying a7 III, I also carry a point and shoot film camera with me all the time. I use Olympus Mu and this $35 camera provides great quality image, especially in the well-lit situation. I love shooting film, but due to the crazy price tag of recent film stocks, I'm trying my best to limit my film usage as much as possible. But it's still a great hobby to have it, and it feels really fun to shoot with film. For my wallet, recently, I've switched it to this Carhartt wallet that I bought from 23 USD from Amazon. I know the logo is a bit twisted, but I still like the design a lot. This wallet is super cool for me, because inline of the wallet has the same design of a Detroit jacket inline blanket and the wallet itself is made of duck fabric which is a same fabric that Carhartt uses all the time for their jackets and I am a big fan of this wallet. I'm still looking for a way to insert an air tag to this thing but due to the thickness of the air tag it's kind of hard for me to find a way to do it. For earbuds especially when I'm on the go I use nothing ear stick. This is a half an ear open back type earbuds from nothing and I absolutely like this 99 dollar pair of earbuds way more than the third gen normal airpods these have a great sound quality with a big stronger bass which is my type and the design is amazing and the battery life is insane four hours for single charging and with the case it goes up to 29 hours and since this is a half an ear design you can hear your surroundings which is very safe when you're on the go and i just love the way this thing looks the sound quality of the microphone is actually really good i think it sounds pretty similar to the AirPods, not only because of the stems, but the actual microphone is pretty high quality. When I'm speaking on these headphones, I do get a lot of compliments from my family, from my friends, from my girlfriend, that it sounds pretty good compared to my other headphones. I think this product is really good not only for listening to music, audiobook, or podcasts, but it's really good for having a video conference, talking to people on the phone, to your coworker, for your work, or your everyday life. I think these headphones are pretty good all around there, but 
don't forget that it doesn't have a and c for mobile battery i carry the belkin bpd 004 bt which is a 5000 milliamp magsafe compatible battery and it's packed with features not only you can charge the iphone with magsafe but you can charge additional device with usb c path through charging by charging the battery itself while charging iphone via magsafe and of course since this thing has a stand you can stand your phone both horizontally and vertically Up, up.